Hey guys, Void of Just Gaming here, and today I had one of the best teamy games in my entire life, which is quite long because I'm 33 years old. And I guess this is one of the best hero outlets that you can find on Teamy. The build just feels great, the whole gameplay is super smooth, and I just wanted to share my experience with you guys because I haven't played Teamy in the current meta and the current matchup. You can see that Volkath has already been added. He is gonna be a powerhouse in this game. You cannot joke with him. He is just super strong and I guess he's gonna dominate most of the early games where people don't really know how to fight him um, before he will be a little bit tamed down by you guys as soon as you encounter him more and more times. So, my team you build um, is completely around being tanky. We've got the Hermes selected, we've got the support item and we got only tank items here. And for the guys who haven't played Teamy so far, Teamy is one of the characters where you need to be really aggressive. Um, you've got the farting ability where you kind of gather gas in your tummy, I guess. Um, I think that's how it works. And after that, you're gonna release it. And as soon as you're gonna release it, people are going to get damage uh, determined on the time that you have been spending collecting gas in your tummy. I think that's the deal, like that's how teaming works. Then you've got this little hook. Um, the hook is different to the one that Grok uses, so you're not pulling enemies towards you. Instead, you are going to be pulled towards the enemies. I think you're going to apply a little slow. And what really makes Teamy shine in team fights is his ultimate. You are going to have a really short window where you and a teammate who is going to be killed will be revived, which is super strong in team fights. Of course, those teammates won't get the full stack of health, but it's kind of surprising, and I'm going to really pull it off a couple of times in a perfect way in this matchup and you're gonna see how great this is for team fight. and we were doing a fucking good job at the beginning of the game getting the ganks and getting the stuff done here as you can see i already upgraded my boots to homie selected which gives you such high mobility and roaming is where teamy excels like he's a really mobile character he needs to be where the action is, so that is going to be Teamy's strength. And as you can see, I was able to kind of save Darcy here, kind of help Darcy out in a quite good way, because I was just using all my abilities to the fullest. And um, if you have ever considered on buying Teamy and you're not really sure of the capabilities at the moment, the Teamies, because this is a duo, those guys are... Um, and here we go. I'm down and here I'm up again and with one third of my health and this is just gonna stuck enemies in their track. So the teamies, if you ever considered of buying them, they are a couple of support kind of tankish um, hero and what they really excel is engaging enemies, dealing some damage, applying some control effects on the enemies and then retreating back to safety if you are alive and if not you have your ultimate and you always have to pay attention on your cooldown that's like the most important thing on the teamy i'm playing teamy with uh, a fata enchantments i'm gonna put them in the description below so if you guys want to figure out what my build is um just check out the description I'm going to put the Arcana for the AP tank there as well. That's my AP build. And I'm going to put the build here too. So you guys have everything that you need for your kid. I always take the ones recommended by the game because um, the high win rates are kind of... they kind of like um, convincing me on what to buy and what to build. And as you can see... I'm down here again and now I'm revived and the good thing is we do not win this fight but at least we stay a little bit longer in the fight. Talonar's doing a really good job here on chasing down the armor. I was a little bit afraid of her low health 
but she went in and she got the kill. Now, I, I could just tell them, like, well played, guys. This was really good. Like, we saved not only the tower, but we got a couple of kills in. And Wolfkov is just going on rampage right now. Like, he is so crazy good. I don't know if you guys bought the codex. I don't think that it's a must, but Wolfkov feels really strong in this game. I have tried him in the hero trial, and he felt just awesome. So here we go. I catch her, I get some damage on her, and um, my Talonas is able to get him. I use my heal ability because I want to save Talonas on this spot. I see Velkov engaging, and there we go. We have everything put up on our sleeves, and I put some pressure on the armor. Now look how I use my ultimate. I'm down. I knew that the tower is gonna catch me. Um, because I did not want to go back. I wanted to support my team even further. I just launched my ult and here we go. Teamy back on, f not full health, but at least some. So it's the moment of surprise that helps Teamy fight all these fights. And for the guys who consider him buying, I can just tell you if you level your one early enough and you upgrade it first, it's just dealing so much damage. It's crazily good. Combined with the hook, you are a damage dealing tank. Which uh, really feels quite nice. Um, I'm getting killed here by Teller Nurse, but that's cool. Because then my team can survive. Um, good ult here from Max. Like um, I think no one was expecting that, so he caught us by surprise. But the good thing is Malok is the one who has been staying, who has survived, and he is going for the engage. Crazy quad kill here from the enemy Talonus, like really, really well fought here. Her positioning was ace, and uh, therefore she has the right to quad kill. Like if someone's doing good, even on the enemy team, who are we to blame? Um, I don't really get that uh, Necroth is being caught by the ult from our Darcy. But it doesn't really matter because we've got so much damage. And uh, there we go. I killed the armor. Like it wasn't it wasn't calculated. Like I did that not on purpose. But on the other hand, a dead enemy is a dead enemy. So there's nothing that you need to know about kill stealing here. Mm. It was quite a quick game. Which is really nice, like um, below the 15 minute mark is always something that you want to achieve, but most of the times you don't have that. And I felt quite um, lucky, you know, I was a little bit surprised that the Welcome was doing so good, because I know that with most of the new characters, uh, players do have a little uh, difficulty, because new skills especially micromanagement, that's always something that's quite difficult for newer players. And uh, look at that, like that was the engage that killed two people. And uh, I was one of those people who killed stuff. I used the revive here perfectly to get our Darcy back into life. So you can even put that down if you see someone going down. That's a um, thing that's pretty broken because now our Darcy lives and uh, Everyone who has ever played Darcy or played against him knows that he is a powerhouse. His spells are so effective. His wave clear is amazing. It's the, I think it's the best wave clear in the game, especially on later levels where you've got all the stuff, you've got all the equipment, so you're doing really, really well. And uh, look, look at that damage. I was overextending here super much, so... It's not really surprising that they caught me and look how much effort they had to put into me going down. Um, four players here combining their forces, which just shows you how tanky it is. Like, don't know if you guys ever played against um, Zip, and I always had the feeling that playing against Zip is putting really an effort into killing someone. And with Timmy, you will just have the same experience. Timmy gets overly tanky, he's super good at being tanky and uh, yeah, play him like or play them, the Timmy, they're so funny, 
It's one of the most funny characters in the game, besides um, Max, whose ult is just amazingly funny. Um, but the whole teamy uh, lore, those are two pandas, and I think those are Chinese pandas because they are uh, red. Um, it's just so funny, like, and those talks between the games, like, when they're, you're so heavy, that's so funny. Like, I really enjoy playing them because the, their playstyle is fun, um, the whole situation about them is fun as well, so if you haven't bought them and you consider getting a new support, I can highly recommend the teamy. They're strong, they're mobile, they've got the full kit, and they can revive people, which is crazily good. And here we go. I've got us another Malloc, and that is crazy because it just gives you team time to get back into the flow and just kill some people. I mean, their Necroth was not that good, like, um, sorry about ne Necroth, but I just felt like this player was kind of new to the game or new to Necroth. I think he's a character or hero with a high skill cap, so you're not to blame about that, but... He did not really excel on playing Necroth, because usually Necroth is a back-and-forth machine, and he's really good on doing that. And um, unfortunately for him, we kind of just stabbed him every time we saw him. So if that Necroth knew more about the Necroth, then the game would have been turning into another favor. But 31 against 12, that's really going to tell you something. And I'm not the best team in player in the world. But I think with at around 19 assists at the moment, I was there. And you will see that by the fight participation at the end of the loading screen that I kind of did really well at um, pulling off some nice assists. And here we go with the 20th. Um, I'm going out here because there's not really that much I can do against the team. I'm going to shield the Talonas. And as... I have been targeted by the Max because I was the one who has the lowest health. Our Talonas could retreat to safety and that is my duty. Like that was just because I was staying here. If I would have run away, uh, she would not have been able to do so. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's the game. It was, it was super fast. It was super fun. It was super intense. And I think we did a really good job on doing so. And I just had the feeling that I had a great uh, scale of participation to get that win. And uh, the great thing is we pulled it off quite nicely. Like usually you, if you have some situation like that where you just um, push one lane, it's gonna be overextending all the time. You will take so much time if you can't seal the deal. And we did a really good job, thumbs up for everyone. And here comes the stats. Second best player from the stats in the game, 33 assists. That's a number. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Void of Dust Gaming. Subscribe to my channel here, and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye, guys.